We're joined by our senior counsel for global affairs, Mike Pompeo, former Secretary of State. Um, Mike, I want to start with a statement from President Biden about China. It's Bite 19. Have relations now between the U.S. and China taken a big hit? No. Frankly? No. How do you know? I know. I talked to him. You've talked to I talked Jinping. to Xi Jinping before, I, and our, our team talks to their people. During this and yeah, since? Yeah, after this. I haven't talked to them during this. Oh. But look, I mean... <laughs> I'm going to jump right in here. Okay, so, so, Mr. Secretary, he had to know this question was coming from Judy Woodruff. We've just had that balloon traverse the United States, and, you know, he, he keeps phrasing this as competition, not enemies, or not, you know, not rivals in that sense. What, what you you had to deal with Xi Jinping? You know him. I mean, so what? What's your sense of the way the administration is handling this? Well, Jay, I can assure your audience that the Chinese Communist Party views America as an enemy, as an adversary. There, he, Xi Jinping has made no mistake. He he wants global hegemony. He wants to control not only countries close to his but ours as well. And to hear our president say, I mean, it's confusing, right? I, hard to tell. Yeah, we talked to him. Well, we, we we don't talk to him. It sounds like they've rejected our calls. They they should have been chasing us down, frankly. Um, saying, we're so sorry, we sent a PLA, that is the Chinese military's balloon, that's who it belonged to. It wasn't a weather service, it wasn't their aviation weather gathering, it was the Chinese military, the People's Liberation Army balloon, across our country for five days and spied on us. And to hear our president say, gosh, that doesn't change anything, nothing's different, is pretty, pretty darn outrageous, but mostly it is really dangerous. Yeah, I mean, Secretary Pompeo, we hear that, and I think the American people just scratch their heads. They're going, what is going on in our leadership in our country? The disconnect between our military leaders, uh, the, the general from NORAD saying they just, they dropped the ball. They couldn't, they didn't pick this up. And, and now the, uh, the absurdity as well, we've seen China say, we want this back. I mean, this is the, the kind of boldness of the Chinese. I, I, know, I, I know the, I don't think the Biden administration will do that, but it just kind of shows where they think their standing is in the world. Jordan, I don't think they'll give it back either, but I would have never dreamed they would allow it to traverse our country for almost a week and, and and humiliate our country and allow them to capture a lot of information, not only what appears to have been signals collection antenna that were on the balloon, but also to send a message to the whole world, to our friends. Hey, America can't defend its own sovereignty against a balloon traveling at 60,000 feet, 10 or 15 miles an hour. That is, that, that is dangerous. That weakness is very provocative, and Xi Jinping certainly was testing us and the Biden administration absolutely failed this particular test. We have our ACLJ action, um, Mike, has sent a uh, letter to our, an email to our members. Now, we've already received 5,000 responses in about three hours uh, about the situation with TikTok and the banning of TikTok, which we think, you know, the president said he, it sounded like he was least open to it. Will you explain? I think it's very important coming from you uh, as a former director of the Central Intelligence Agency, the CIA, and as our former Secretary of State, the danger of TikTok's being a TikTok app on someone's phone. Let me talk directly to parents. Parents, if your child is using TikTok, the Chinese Communist Party is capturing lots of information about them, what they watch, when they watch it, how they watch it, what they watch in sequence, who their friends are who are watching it alongside of them, what their face looks like, lots of data. Goodness knows how they will ultimately use that. Um, so parents, for that reason alone, should take this off their kids' phones. Second, they are also flooding your children. They're flooding your children with propaganda, Chinese Communist Party propaganda. They are speaking to them in ways that undermine America, to talk about an American nation that is decadent and in decline, and a Chinese model, a communist, socialist, Marxist, Leninist model as the primary way that one should think about the world. They are using this both as an information collection tool and to change the minds of American young people. We ought to ban it from not just our government phones, but from every single application should be taken off of every phone here in the United States, whether on a phone or laptop or any place else. You sent out a tweet that I wanted to ask you about when we're talking about China, about uh, Chairman uh, President Xi. You said, I met uh, Xi Jinping. He was the toughest and most evil person I encountered as Secretary of State. And it's clear that he's testing us in every direction. That is a strong statement as a as a former Secretary of State. Could you kind of get into a little bit more and explain to people why you picked up that feel from him? 
So my encounters with him, sometimes just by myself and sometimes alongside the president, were consistent. He, he was dead-eyed. He, he he didn't. There was no cheer. There was no joy. Uh, he didn't. He didn't smile. There was no small talk. Uh, he was direct and he was vicious in the way he spoke about the things he intended to defend. And so, you know, when I when I my book, I call it "Never Give an Inch." He is the king of never giving an inch. He he literally wanted everything for him, nothing for us. It was from it was the inverse of Ronald Reagan. It was the Chinese version of uh, "America loses, China wins." And I never saw any place where we could actually find what President Biden was talking about in the opening cut. Said, "Gosh, we're going to find places we could get along." I never saw that. Um, we, we lived through the Wuhan virus he sent across the world to kill millions of people. Uh, we suffered from lots of efforts of the Chinese Communist Party to spy on us from their consulate in Houston, Texas, which we shut down. This was a serious man intent on achieving his hegemonic objective. You know, people forget about the, the, the embassy in, in Texas that was shut down. Let, let's remind people, Mr. Secretary, why you took that action. So, Jay, this was the what I believe the largest spying operation ever conducted inside of the United States against the American people. They were their diplomats under diplomatic cover were collecting uh, information about America's most sophisticated energy companies. Think about the Beltway corridor from between Woodlands and Houston ports. They were stealing information from our research universities, our uh, medical facilities, the Texas medical system. They were using this to take them back to their country to go dump cheap products in the United States and to undermine our country. We, we, we've we known this for a while, but much like President Biden, previous administration had just been afraid to provoke Xi Jinping and took no response. We, we ultimately did, and Americans were safer for that. Last question. We only got about a minute and a half left, and that is if, if you were the commander in chief and the situation happened with China, uh, with the balloon, what would have you done? I would have clearly recommended to the president, or if I were the president, I would have shot this down long before it traversed our major military institutions or, or facilities. Second, now that you have hold of the balloon, we should collect. If there are Western technologies on there, which I'm confident we will find, we should make sure those components never again leave the United States and go to China. And we should sanction every uh, PLA-connected company that was connected to this balloon program. Think of the People's Liberation Army as an extension of China's commerce. We know how to do it, Jay. We just have to be serious about protecting America. All right. Uh, Mike Pompeo, our senior counsel for global affairs, former secretary of state, as always, thanks for being with us. Thanks for your insight on this. It's critically important.